This is like my third time filming a video on this topic. I don't even really know what to say. I'm just at absolute breaking point and I don't know who to talk to about it. I feel like my entire personality at the moment is my anorexia bulimia. It's all I can speak to my boyfriend about. It's all I wanted to talk to my dad about when I saw him today. It's all I felt like talking about when I saw one of my closest friends on Sunday. I didn't want to see my friends on Sunday evening because all that was on my mind was my eating disorder. I just feel like my entire world is falling apart around me and I can't pick myself up and sort it out. And I'm scared. I'm absolutely terrified. I don't think I realised how ill I'd gotten. I don't think I realised how much I've let this impact my life and I just don't see a way out. The thing about having an eating disorder is that you think you're invincible. It convinces you that you'll just try and get to the next, the next like lower weight that it wants you to get to, the next BMI number, and then it'll be okay that you'll finally be happy with who you are, what you are. But then you reach that number, that new lower weight, and your eating disorder wants you to lose more, and you can never win. But I even like I know that's what my eating disorder is doing, but. I've just found myself in that cycle. When I first relapsed, I thought I'd be happier at a weight that's like significantly higher than I am now. And then I reached that weight and I was like, no, just a little bit more. And then I reached that little bit more. My eating disorder again was like, no, a little bit more. And I've reached a weight now that is the lowest I've ever been during my adult life. And my eating disorder wants me to keep going. But this is where I'm terrified because I know I'm dying. I literally know that no matter what I do right now in terms of my anorexia bulimia, I am putting my body in so much danger and I don't want to die. Like, I'm stuck because I didn't realise how dangerous my bulimia was because especially since I'm such a low weight, I didn't realise my risk of having a binge and rupturing my stomach, which could kill me, was pretty high. And I had started binging quite a lot recently, I think, because I just felt a complete lack of control from when England's lockdown eased a little bit and obviously because I am malnourished my body just went eat 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 and realising that fact has absolutely terrified me. I wish I'd realised it sooner, I wish, I don't know, like I wish I didn't feel invincible in terms of my bulimia but now that my bulimia has kind of had to take a step back and I haven't by the way, I haven't thrown up in four days my anorexic voice is so strong. I'm scared of eating food. I'm going to try and get all my calories in with liquids. I might try and see if I can get those fort snips, whatever they're called. But I'm so scared that if I eat, I'll binge. But I'm so scared that if I don't eat, I'm basically going to die because I know I'm already small. And this is where I just wish that I had anorexia or bulimia. And I'm not saying either of them are better or worse than the other. But I just wish I had to just deal with one battle rather than two that completely oppose each other. Because at the moment I've got a situation where if my anorexia, if I was recovering from my anorexia, I would do meal plans, I would eat small amounts and increase slowly so it didn't overwhelm me. But because of my bulimia, that's not possible. If I start recovering from that, I will have the occasional binge, but then I could try and like stabilise it to regular meals. But these regular meals have to be higher than what an anorexic recovering would be because the whole way to avoid binges is to regulate proper portions. But the early stages of anorexia recovery, I think to be sustainable, do have to start from less than a normal portion. So I just feel stuck. It's funny because when I went to the doctors on Saturday to get my like, physical checks just done again so the eating disorder services will take me on, I didn't realise how close I was to being hospitalised. I I kind of knew that if the physical checks didn't come back right, that I would possibly go into like just a normal hospital to stabilise them for a few days. But I didn't realise when the doctor mentioned hospital, they meant inpatient services. And never in my life have I been told I was eligible for inpatients, that an eating disorder service thought I was ill enough for their service. And I think that's the problem. I have been a really similar weight to what I am now. and. I didn't even get referred to the eating disorder services. When I was younger, I was tiny and struggling with my food and nobody, nobody even considered it as something that I needed to do. I was sat here not realising that I'm as ill as I am. I think it's because you get 
this sense of never being ill enough just kind of reinforced in your head from all these other times you never I don't know met like eating disorders services criteria you know never feeling like people cared enough before to push you in the direction of getting help and when I was sat in the doctor's office and was literally told if you've lost any weight you're getting you're going into an inpatient facility I was absolutely bricking it Thankfully, because of the binges, I knew my weight had gone up. Obviously, I didn't realise how dangerous these binges were. But now I'm, like I said, stuck in this position where I don't know what to do because I don't want to put my body through the binges anymore. Like, I am terrified, but I'm struggling with anything but liquid calories. No, deep down, I need the help. I don't want to go to an inpatient service, but I can't picture right now me sorting things out by myself. But I literally, I know mentally I couldn't even hack an inpatient service because I'm too happy with my job. I'm so happy with my boyfriend. I'm so happy with my dog and my family and my friends that I know that that situation will just completely send me a thousand steps back in terms of how I do the rest of my mental health. But I don't know how I am sorting this out. And I'm fed up of feeling like it's all I talk to people about because I know that for them, it probably kills them to see me like this, but also What's the point in hanging around with someone that doesn't have a personality, that isn't their eating disorder? And that's how I feel. Like, I know the people around me love and care about me, but I find it hard to understand how you can love me right now. And I want so desperately to get better for myself, but also other people. But I really don't know how this time. I just can't picture myself eating without binging, but I also can't picture myself eating in general. I'm terrified.